what's going on? Maggie from MNR here. Today I'm with Paulina Marin from MNR as well. We are in Orange, California, visiting our friends over at Money March. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Hi. Alvaro, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How's the flight in? It was rough. <laughs> it was rough, but we made it. A collection of various colors in most of our popular blades. We have tees and we have hoodies. Then we also have a couple of sweatpants and shirts over here. And then let me show you some of our samples. You have a favorite one over here? I think some of my favorite are the most intricate ones. So we have ones like these, where we have a 12 color print, and then we embellish it with rhinestones. Pretty cool. They make the graphic look a lot larger. And a lot of our clients come to us because no one prints the large graphics. Right. And so that's what we specialize in. So we can always add extra details like this with the rhinestones, or we can just increase the size of the print. Who's um, like your target demographic you pick for? Our target demographic is a lot of like e-commerce, like on-demand customers. They do the pre-sale and then we make everything to order. We print it, we pack it here, and then we ship it. Another design that I think is really cool is these like 12 color jobs. So one like this, this is another brand that we work with. We did the screen printing of the watercolor effect. So we really try to maximize the screen count. How did uh, Money March start? Where's the, where Money March come from, the name? We started in January of 2020 with this facility. We have a background in screen printing sales, embroidery sales. My business partner, Blake's got a, a big background in marketing as well as production. <laughs> You've gone to a lot of print shops, worked at various print shops and one of the biggest things that we always noticed was like there was a lot of like voids in the industry. So we said like, hey, if we're gonna make this company, we have to make sure that we have everything in house. Right. So that's our goal, do like a one-stop shop. We handle your project from beginning to end instead of you being like, okay, they printed my shirts, now I'm gonna go down the street and get my labels sewn. And I then there's the miscommunication where they tell you, I'm gonna have your labels for you in a week and then you miss deadlines. For us, meeting deadlines is very important, so off with your head. Our biggest thing is uh, we want to make sure all clients are satisfied and if we say we're gonna do something we'll do it. So if I tell your orders gonna be due next Friday we're gonna make sure it gets to next Friday whether we have to get a second shift coming in or whatever it is. Missing deadlines I think is very disappointing for a lot of people right. and it's a bad representation of your company. I think in times like this where a lot of shops are low on work and things like that, they trust us giving us their projects just because they know that they're gonna get what they want yeah. with the quality that they want, not just like rushed and then everything's like messed up. So people really, really value that in it us. It matters a lot. So you do printing here? We offer screen printing, embroidery, direct to garment, packaging, fulfillment, finishing such as like, so labels, printed labels, and then we also do stickers as well. So it's an extra accessory that people can add onto the orders. Are you gonna show us or what? Yeah. <laughs> so our sticker company, Sticker Mob, and Money Merch is the merchandise company. So we have everything under the same roof. To our sales Very office awesome. here. So we have Rico and we have Andy. Hi. Um, hello, hello, hello. They're in charge of all the intakes, <laughs> customer service. We have another sales rep here too as well. They're the front line. So whatever's coming in, they're making sure everything's very meticulous, detailed, mm -hmm. just so when it goes to production, everything's exactly as the client expects it to be. What makes your uh, sales team so successful over here? I think we're successful because we really like to help the customer. So if they don't have like stuff that we need, we can help them and then we provide them with information. We recommend sizing, shirts, mm -hmm. like what's popular and it really helps them like get an image of like what kind of company we are. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming other shops wouldn't like, you know, show that love, but we definitely like to take Spread that extra love, mile yeah. and uh, help them out. Get their brand stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think we get really good training on the process. So we're able to pass that knowledge on to our customers and they come to us with a lot of questions and they don't understand necessarily every step of the way. So we're able to explain those things and um, we get educated and we educate our customers and just ha make the process as smooth as possible. Yeah, for us it's a continuous like growing process. Our uh, direct to garment department, we don't like to limit out uh, customers. So you want to still give people the ability to have high color count graphics if they have lower uh, lower quantities. So we can achieve that here and they still get the jumbo prints. If the quantity is higher, we'll definitely move it to screen print. But we want to make sure that everyone's got a fair chance. We've had customers that come with us, come to us with like a 24 piece order. Yeah. And then, like, their next order is maybe 72, 150, and so on and so forth. Now we're going to move on down to the production side where we have fulfillment as well. 
Where's the hair grease? <laughs> the Fulman department, our biggest goal is to make sure we handle all the order processing efficiently, effectively, and as quick as possible. Some customers maybe sell 10,000 orders within that release. So you want to make sure that everything, as soon as it's coming off press package, and we're shipping it out. The quicker people get their merchandise, the happier they are, the more clients return, and it's just a snowball effect. So Ethan over here is in charge of uh, all the labels, um, the shipping crew. And so his goal is to make sure that things are running smoothly, that we're having a USPS pickup daily. He's in close contact with them, so we make sure that everything goes out as it's getting packaged. How many orders do you ship a day? 500 to 2,000. Keep a lot of the shirts, we have everything size. LB small, medium, large, extra large, double X. And we have an overflow section as well. So it's very easy for them to pick with the sizes that they need without making mistakes. In this department, we do all the screen printed neck tags. So this would be an, an example of a screen that's got the sizes on there. So people will get their custom neck tag printed onto the garment. This makes your brand a little more personalized and people right, really like yeah, that. People really like that. So, Sometimes they don't know that we offer this, so that's why the importance of the sales reps is... We offer neck tags. <laughs> we offer neck tags. <laughs> Money merch offers neck tags. <laughs> um, another thing that we do, we offer sewing. So as soon as they come off the press, we're already sewing, sewing them, yeah. packaging them, and they could even ship out if they're a fulfillment same client. Day. Same day. So it's... Right. This is one of our newest machines. It's a Challenger 3. What's the blue? Show us the blue. <laughs> blue. Excited to purchase. Uh, since we started has been M and R. This is our most recent machine. It's a Challenger 3, 16 colors. We like this one because it's one of the quickest ones. And for all our flash units, we do the M and R chilies. They're the most like reliable. Why did you choose M and R? So we decided to choose M and R because we know that it's almost like the language for screen printing. And I say that because. You can hire a screen printer from anywhere in the industry and they'll know how to operate these machines. The user friendliness, the platform is really good. So I know that if I have different types of machines, they'll struggle and I'll have to do a lot more training. With this, most of them already know how to operate these. Yeah. So. Convenient. Very convenient, yeah. Uh, one of the biggest things too that I like about them is their tech support. The machine could be down in the morning, evening, even after hours and they're closed and they do have a second team that will support you. Sometimes it's something silly that the machine's doing and you don't know how, what to do to fix it. I'll call tech support and they'll literally guide me like without knowing anything how to do it. So I think that's extremely helpful because you can't have the machines down. If your machine's down, your business is not producing and then we're going backwards, not forwards. You don't really need to replace parts that often, but it's nice to know that I can do it. Even if the machine's really old, I'm not concerned about not being able to find the part. They've been around forever, and I just know they're reliable. Yeah, they last long. They last long. <laughs> How do you guys register all your designs? Our traditional method was by using targets, and we realized that production was taking a lot longer. They would spend more time regis registering than actually printing. We found out about that trilog system that M&R creates, and we paired it with our uh, CTS, Anyone that's coming to use the machine could basically register a graphic within minutes versus... Even a dummy can do it. <laughs> anyone can do it. So that's really helped us out a lot. It's helped us grow a lot. Uh, we went from maybe doing like, you know, five, six graphics per machine a day to now we can double that. So it's really helpful having that ability and that technology that you guys offer. So we're going to go into the screen room. This is where we reclaim screens code screens and burn screens. So the feet here is in charge of all the imaging of the graphics. How many screens would you say you expose a day? So on a daily basis, we're exposing anywhere from like 250 to 300. Just depends on the workflow. Almost every time actually, all our customers want jumbo prints. So we have these massive jumbo size screens. <laughs> and then the customers like high color counts. So we'll do 12 color jobs. We'll even do a poly blocker if they want, like if they have a specialty blend. This area is pretty cool. We uh, stage it. All the screens are organized by mesh. It's important for us to do that. Sometimes they know that we have some urgent jobs that are like requiring 160 mesh, 200 mesh. And so they know that they have to go here and reclaim these rather than just sifting through all of them. How do you guys get your art prepped for the screen? So for our art prep for the screens, we have a team that does tech packs. 
and then another gentleman that does our separations. So we're right by the art department right now, so let's go take a look at it. This is our art department. We have Randy right here. Hi, Randy. And we have Leo right here. Um, combined, they have over 30 years of experience with separating and tech packs. It's really helpful. Whatever happens in here translates to screens, production, etc. So this is basically like the heart of the business. They're always trying to refine their art. I mean, he's been doing this for X amount of time. How long have you been doing this, Randy? 30 years or so. 30 years or so. And even with that level of experience, he always finds ways to improve his skill set. The art, of the separation is really important. Well, part of it. Yeah. And then Leo over here, so he'll create a tech pad and the pantone color. You want to talk about a little bit of more, more about what you guys do? Yeah, what do you like about it? <laughs> I mean, this is my, my passion. Getting the, the things into production, getting everything right, the measurements, and all that stuff. I love being in the process. We're actually doing five new t-shirt designs, so maybe we can link some of those to them. So Leo... Link below. <laughs> link below. <laughs> some new graphics. It's really hard to get that air. We'll have a vacant spot right here. What are you putting over here? A car wheel? It's something that I've been waiting for my whole life. So much respect. Customers are like, hey, like, how do we push it to the next level? So we just purchased a 18 color. We're excited to offer a higher color count and just uh, just give people more freedom with their creativity. Good for you. So before we take anything into production, we always do press proof. I always request for the tech pack and the first uh, garment that's been printed. So I always want to make sure if people are requesting a certain dimension graphic that it actually measures that. So this one's asking for an eight inch wide graphic and I measure it from edge to edge. It's exactly eight inches. We always do quality control before it goes into full production. So tell me a little bit about your department. Since we're doing the high color count jobs, it's a lot of simulated process. And because we're doing simulated process, these colors are mixing together. So the tones in these colors make a big difference on the outcome. I like to have a lot of our specialty inks up here. People are very like curious when they want to elevate their brand. Yeah. So we have UV inks, we have glow in the dark inks, wow. metallics, reflectives. So Sparkles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Um, if you have a gold print, maybe throw like the gold shimmer on there, just give yeah. it a different effect. We have our like sampling department. What this does is it allows us to filter out and address any issues before we go into mass production. You guys do life hacks and you don't dab, you're not doing it you're right. You're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> These are both 14 color Challenger 2s. What makes Money Merch, what makes you guys so unique and different from, like stand out from other companies? I think the biggest part is showcasing what we do through our social media, but we show things. Shout out to Blue. <laughs> Shout out to Blue, honestly. He's in charge of his, all our social media, and he makes sure that everything is well represented to our style. I think we've created our own style. Things that really make us unique are being able to offer high color counts, and we're able to do that because we have 14 color machines, 16 color MNR machines, and now we're getting the 18 color that we're super excited about. <laughs> Another thing that makes us very uh, unique is we offer everything in-house. What advice do you have for other printers? I think my biggest advice is not to rush a job. Sometimes we want to just execute and produce a lot of jobs, but we have to be very aware of our customer and their needs. Our sales reps will always make extremely detailed tech packs. I have no problem calling every customer and asking them questions if I have any doubts, because to me, their satisfaction is my satisfaction. And so I always try to take extra take the extra steps to make sure that I'm understanding everything that they communicated over to our team. We've learned that the smaller customers grow into larger customers. Being fair with every customer and giving everyone an equal opportunity really allows you to grow as a business, but also allows your customers to grow. Yeah, everyone and has to start somewhere. Of course, and it also builds customer loyalty. Yeah. This department, we oh, yeah. do all our uh, packaging and finishing. When we got the big boy orders, this is where we'll go. Big boy orders. Which we love. Another thing that I think is very important is how you treat your team. Without your team, you're not anything. Right. I always make sure that everyone's good. I speak Spanish, and so I'm able to communicate with them and build that trust. I notice when they're, you know, maybe they're a little stressed out or agitated, or maybe they're having a good day. Being aware and understanding everyone on your team will help you grow and avoid mistakes. 
some people you go to like these shops and they just like they're scared of their boss and stuff yeah. and it's like they like tense up and everything and here it's like such a family vibe a big thing for us is like leading by example mm -hmm. if i expect someone to help me out with something i'll always ask them for please and thank you you don't know what kind of days everyone's having so if you yeah. just say that little extra thing not only do you not feel like you were a jerk to them but they literally like go above and beyond. They appreciate it. How it's you like treat others, things. yeah, how you treat others is very important. Right. This is one of our other departments that we have and this is our embroidery department. So sometimes people want to do a embroidered logo on the front and screen print it back. I know nothing about embroidery. So this is another Teaching. very complicated world. So they, they're all 15 colors. I think we have 20 heads of embroidery and then we have a sampling machine so we can make sure that they're all running production. Just like there's Pantone colors and screen printing, there's also <laughs> unique colors for all the thread. Sewing on shorts, on the short leg. You mentioned Sticker Mob. You guys do stickers in house too? Yeah, so since we do fulfillment for a lot of customers and brand development, we figured that extra branding is stickers. Stickers are fun, you can everywhere. put them everywhere. Yeah. I have stickers that I've collected over the years that I haven't even put anywhere because I have a feeling that one day I'm gonna find like the perfect like spot for, spot for them. Yeah. So I think that a lot of people like to add something extra to their orders. And so we decided uh, to offer that service to everyone else. So welcome to Sticker Mob. This is our sticker Whoa. business. Super cool. I took a graphics class in high school. Now we're offering everything that's graphics related. Yeah. <laughs> Came full circle. I didn't think I would be doing this, but it's super fun. We have our printer over here, prints all the graphics. And then in this machine, we have all the stickers being cut out. And once they're cut out, they get punched out like this. Sticker mob. Sticker mob. Make sure you guys check it out. Do you have money merch stickers too? We do have money merch stickers. Yeah. They're our biggest client. <laughs> yeah, I want them all. What is, um, what is this over here? So this is another service that we started to offer. People always want to do custom skateboards. Mm -hmm. If you look online, it's really difficult to find someone that does it. It's honestly really hard to tell that it's even vinyl. We sell these on our site as wall art. Here's another example of another one that we just did. I know you decided I'm gonna call your equipment, but the dryers too. Is there a specific one? Yeah, the dryers as well, just because they're also universal as far as operating them. It may seem simple, but the importance of curing ink is very underrated in some places. The ink is cracking or the puff's not rising enough. It's a result of the dryer. They're very reliable. Again, if I have any issues with the dryer, I can call your tech support team and I'll be assisted right away. To me, that's extremely important. The longer the machines are down, it means that we can be printing. So that's extremely crucial to us. How did you guys come up with the name Money Merch? It's a really good question. Why we called it Money Merch is we're all about like getting things right. And so this is a perfect example. We have a hoop here. If you shoot a ball, make it in the hoop, that's money. Money! And so when it's got multiple meanings, but we always try to make every order as perfect as possible. So once you make it as good as possible and it's right on the money, yeah. it kind of like elaborates on that. So we didn't want to throw screen printing at the end of it. I think with our social media, people see right. all the services we offer. Right. So I don't think we need to do that. And when you have a shirt with it, it's also like a brand. So people are curious what it is. People DM us and contact us all the time trying to get a shirt. Yeah. So if it says screen printing, maybe they want it on it. I like money merch. Thank it's you. It's money. <laughs> it's money. money. All right, guys. So you came here, you saw the shop. Yeah. We just got UPS here, so time to get some deliveries. Thank you for having us. Of course. Take Stay care. Soon. Later. <laughs>